To write the balanced net ionic equation for aluminum sulfate plus ammonium phosphate, the first thing we do, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I've already balanced the molecular equation. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description of this video to help you do that. Next, we write the states for each substance based on the solubility rules. That'll look like this. Sulfates in general, they're soluble. The aluminum sulfate, the ammonium sulfate, those are going to be AQ soluble. And ammonium compounds are very soluble as well. So we have these two ammonium compounds. But compounds with phosphate in general are insoluble with a few exceptions like ammonium phosphate. That's soluble because of the ammonium being so soluble. Since this is insoluble, it's a solid. That means it's a precipitate. It falls to the bottom of the test tube as a solid, as a precipitate. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is our balanced complete ionic equation. We've split everything into their ions based on their ionic charge, except we don't split solids apart. So we keep this aluminum phosphate together. It's the precipitate in this reaction. Now we can cross out spectator ions, They're both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I see I have three of these sulfate ions here in the reactants. And then in the products down here, I have three sulfate ions. These are spectator ions. We can remove those six ammonium ions in the reactants and in the products. Spectator ions, get rid of those. What's left, that's our net ionic equation for aluminum sulfate plus ammonium phosphate. Let's remove the spectator ions. So this is the balanced net ionic equation. We have the atoms are all balanced. And in fact, since we have all twos, why don't we reduce that to one? But we don't write the one by convention. So here's our balanced net ionic equation. We have three plus, three minus. That adds up to zero, net charge of zero here. This is neutral, net charge of zero. So that's it. This is the balanced net ionic equation for Al2SO4-3 plus NH3PO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.